everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today, in today's video, I want to talk about what I would consider potentially uh, my nuclear option when it comes to open source HFT. Uh, I have seen quite a few projects that try to uh, pull this off. When I first started, there was Market Cetera, which kind of went nowhere pretty fast after two years. This one's another option uh, called OpenHFT. I've gone through the code. I haven't gone through the I've, I've played a lot with the projects that are available in this GitHub repository. Um, all of them seem to build. Uh, these are built in Java. Now, I need to stress this and make it quite clear. If you are going to play with this open source um, project, you better be a fairly accomplished JV, Java developer because this stuff goes into areas that are quite low latency and uh, off the heap and so on and so forth. So you have to be fairly advanced to really pull off the understanding of this. I'll do my best to show you the project in my IDE NetBeans, but before I start that, I just want to give you a little backstory. I found this project on Friday, December uh, 16th, and here I put up a pile of videos on this project, as well as some other historical stuff that may be useful for you. I would watch that and really understand the principles of what goes behind the uh, low latency world, and especially the author of this project, Peter, um, who seems to be quite... I'll, use the word a genius in a lot of levels. Um, he's really built something that's quite quite unique. This never existed when I started. Um, so it's pretty exciting to see this come about. Uh, he does run a company called Chronicle Software um, to help out consultancy for, it sounds like, investment banks and hedge funds. So because of that, He's probably making some good bank off of those clients. They're paying, it sounds like a minimum, a thousand a month in consulting fees. So this guy's probably doing all right. He's doing all right with this project, whereas he's got all this commercial stuff built on top of this. So it's kind of like a freemium model. So let me just show you the project. Now I'm in NetBeans here. These are the number of projects that you can download from this repo. Typically what you gotta do is you just go in build up, uh, do a git clone on the project as you would do on any other project here. So let me just randomly choose one, Chronicle Core, clone, download. So you just type in your terminal, uh, git clone, and then this repo, uh, and that's it. And that should download the code. From there, you should be able to import into your IDE. In my case, I did it with the, uh, with NetBeans work seem to work fine now here's the source code when you build out I guess let me just give me a second here um, so here you go so here's some source code you can look at then there's these test packages these are the ones that you're gonna run so if you come under here you do uh, a standard build and they all seem to build okay but you you're not gonna run it you're gonna test it just so you know that so off she goes and she'll test and uh, this should start running and, and start testing all, all the unit cases that have been built out for these projects and they seem to work okay. So one thing you need to be really aware of was when you run these, uh, they take up a lot of drive space. So uh, when you do that, make sure you understand um, your cache may get eaten up in your IDE, which I noticed. Um, not sure how to do it in Windows, but if I got a program here called OmniSweep that will sweep the uh, drive to see what's being eaten drive drive space wise, and you'll notice that these things do take up a lot of a lot of space. So if I bring up that OmniSweep uh, here, you'll see as I run it it will eat up a lot of a lot of drive space. So you can see here, the build was successful. The tests were successful. So this can be uh, disk-based. Um, it is in memory, but it also does serialization. Uh, so it will chew up a lot of memory. Now, as you can imagine, I'm not here to teach you Java, but I'm just showing you 
the project, uh, and it is specific to high frequency trading, and that's what it was built for. Um, so let's see what's going on with the uh, build here um, on this suite. Let's see, let's see. Um, I did have 44 gig available. So you can see here under users, Quant Labs. Um, just waiting for the caches to load up. So right here, where it says NetBeans projects. Um, this guy takes up a lot of drive space. And this one I just ran uh, is quite quite a bit, but you can see here that these 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 projects take up a gig and it's just basic code. But when you run them and test them, uh, that's what's eating up a lot of your your space on your drive. So let's see here. So yeah. So when I ran it, it was chewing up about ten to twenty gig of drive of uh, drive space so just be aware of that and uh, if you you are an accomplished uh, uh, Java developer you may enjoy this project a lot um, it's well designed uh, and it's the architecture looks pretty good too so um, we'll leave it at that and um, uh, we'll see where, where this takes us all right I'll talk to you later